Hi guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel S Chemistry. My name is Sonal and today I shall share with you all my very own personal experience of the Park JRF uh, online interview. So let's get started. Now, I remember that uh, BARC, which is uh, Bhava Atomic Research Center, they had advertised around 105 JRF positions in the late December 2020. So I had filled my form uh, in the chemical sciences uh, section for chemistry, obviously, uh, for the JRF position. And I still remember when I had filled the form, I absolutely did not expect an interview call from them. Around two weeks back, I received a mail from them that uh, I have been shortlisted for the interview and the interview will be held uh, soon. So I was completely shocked i would say that i actually received an email from them and further on i am actually going to have an interview uh with the panel members who are actually from barc it is such a huge thing for me i will be talking about two things in this video the first i will tell about the procedure as in how the communication happened between me and the concerned authorities at bar and then obviously i will talk to you all about my entire interview experience okay so the first i just received an email from them saying that uh, i will be having an interview for the GRF positions i had to acknowledge so i wrote back to them that i will be available uh, for the interview the next email they sent me were with respect to um, guidelines which uh, we had to follow as candidates for the online interview now under guidelines there was nothing much they had sent a pdf as such wherein um, certain uh, rules or guidelines were put down as in how the interview is to be conducted that uh, the candidate has to be in a set in a in a room or uh, and uh, there shouldn't be anyone interfering or any disturbance during the interview uh, shouldn't be there then um, the candidate can keep like a book and a pen with him or her so that if uh, he or she has to solve anything during the interview they can make use of it then prompting is not allowed or any th uh, third person talking during the interview was not allowed and uh, the candidate had to keep um, his or her Aadhaar card with uh, them during the interview because there was some process related to that as well so these were the guidelines which were put there were some more but in general how a normal interview has to be between the candidate and the members of the panel okay after that i received a third email from them wherein they mentioned the exact date of my interview and uh, the time as in the slot that was given to me i was asked to mail them back a copy of my Aadhaar card and any recent uh, identity card like any so, so that your face is uh, visible in that uh, a recent picture of yours being taken so that can be any college university ID card so that I had to send them back and plus again you had to acknowledge that you will be available uh, during that uh, period of time uh, for your interview so this was how the communication took place then finally on 14th i was uh, i was all ready for the interview uh, and uh, if you ask about preparations i don't think i prepared much like i just went through my project work and in general uh, basics like here and there but i really didn't uh, hardcore do my preparations uh, i was just excited that i am having an interview uh, with uh, members of uh, brc so finally i was all set at around 12 itself i was ready with my laptop i kept my aadhar card with me and a book and a pen uh, and a water, uh, water bottle next to me i was uh, ready like for the interview then i got a call from them that my interview was uh, shifted half an hour ahead so they were running a bit late so from 12.20 uh, they actually started my interview at around 12.55 which was actually the end time of my interview so they, I got a call there was no chaos as such I would say that the entire uh, process of interview was very smooth so even if it was delayed you cannot really judge it right because it's online and then there are network issues and rains and everything they play a factor so there wasn't any hassle as such uh, they gave me a call in advance like at around 12 uh, 10 12 15 only they called me up and they said that my interviews pushed half an hour ahead so i did a few things during that slot and i was back to my seat at around 12 45 
again after that uh, they gave me a call that you can now join the meet the interview was through google meet the link was already forwarded and then very graciously they called me back and they told me that now uh, the interview is going to start i immediately put the link and joined uh, the meet and uh, these were how the communication actually took place now coming to the interview uh, uh, when i started around uh, five members were there in the panel and uh, the first thing they asked me is that uh, when did i pass out like when did i do my masters and uh, from which university so these two things they asked me first and then they apologized because there was a delay of half an hour they were very gracious as i said uh, that i had to wait but uh, that didn't really be much of a thing for me because i was really excited for my interview and then they asked me what are you doing currently so i told them i'm teaching and then uh, the interview started so this was in general they did not ask me to introduce uh, myself or anything only these three things they said as in when i passed out from which university and what i'm doing currently that's it okay now coming to the technical part of the interview so they asked me uh, my uh, topics as in they asked me like tell us any four topics which uh, you are confident about and in those fields uh, they will question as in they will ask the questions okay so uh, they gave me the liberty and i was not prepared for this question otherwise i would have decided prior only because i don't think before in an interview like um, they asked four topics like one or two i have been asked but not four so uh, i told them like my specialization is inorganic so first i would pick coordination chemistry then i told them organometallic chemistry and uh, then i told them my project was in supramolecular chemistry and uh, that was my msc project and my bsc project was in nanochemistry and they wrote it down uh, they wrote down the topics that i told them and then they started with the interview so in the very first uh, as in the first questions which were asked by one of the members of the panel he started with uh, coordination chemistry now uh, in this video i will just give the types of questions which were asked uh, not what i uh, answered over there because if i do that then the video will become really long and i don't really want to extend this video uh, that much okay so starting with coordination i said they first asked me the different uh, theories that we have in coordination chemistry uh, and then you answer like vbt or uh, cft mot and then what were the drawbacks of vbt what were the drawbacks of cft why was there a need for uh, mot uh, this was the next set of questions then they asked me about electronic transitions then they asked me about uh, nephrostic effect in coordination chemistry then uh, how the transitions are related to the uv visible uh, spectrum of coordination compounds then they asked me about uh, mot and uh, in mot uh, how does mot help in explaining strong field ligands or weak field ligands uh, then they also question me on spectrochemical series uh, basically everything that is there in coordination chemistry all of that uh, was asked starting with the theories and then they took it ahead to electronic uh, spectra of transition compounds then a little bit about um, charge transfer transitions as well then a uh, synergic bonding in carbonyl ligands uh, pi back bonding then they asked uh, like synergic effect how can you experimentally uh, check it so that is using ir spectroscopy synergic effect or uh, metal carbonyls can usually be studied by ir uh, spectroscopy so all of those things in coordination chemistry then they started questioning me with respect to different types of bonding that is uh, that was more related to supramolecular chemistry they asked me questions on uh, van der waals forces hydrophobic uh, interactions then uh, the hydrogen bonding then why certain chemicals exist as liquids what are the types of forces uh, which exist between them so these the type of bonding questions came from another member of the panel and she was more concerned with respect to supramolecular chemistry and then uh, the third set of questions were from nanotechnology or nanochemistry as it when you reduce the size of the atoms uh, what changes take place in their physical properties like um, why do certain nano uh, particles exhibit color or how does their magnetic behavior change uh, all of these things so we started at around 12 55 and i finished at around 1 25 uh, the interview major questions i would say were on coordination chemistry 
and uh, towards the end yeah this this was it now while answering most of the questions from coordination chemistry i could answer some of them uh, from uh, supramolecular and your uh, nanochemistry i couldn't really you know put words together at that point of time and as i said i didn't really prepare a lot so i nicely told them uh, i'm sorry i cannot recollect or i said i'm sorry i cannot remember at this point of time so a few things here and there i missed out but when i answered my coordination chemistry i think yeah that that went uh, really fine for me and yeah that's it uh, they didn't uh, really uh, make me feel like i wasn't completely prepared or I was completely unprepared no I think the panel members were really nice uh, certain questions when I was stuck they were instead helping me come up with the answer so you could make out that you know they are actually helping you to come up with the answer they won't give you the answer directly but they will definitely show you the path through which uh, you yourself can uh, uh, give an answer to their question so my overall experience of uh, BARC JRF interview was really fantastic I wanted to give the interview for experience and the overall process of communication was smooth and uh, the overall way of questioning and uh, you know I don't think you would feel out of out of place uh, with the members of the panel though they being such senior uh, personnels in their respective field but they started with really basic like if you consider the theories in coordination chemistry that is like first year second year syllabus so they started with really basic and they slowly kept on building up the difficulty level and anywhere you were stuck like I said I told them so I cannot recollect or I cannot um, answer they would you know give me clues or they would give me hints so that i myself would come up with uh, the answer so this was my overall experience uh, of the barc jrf interview if you all want like a proper question answer session then i can make another video on it but if you guys want a question answer series like the questions they asked and how i answered or what is the correct answer actually for those questions then do let me know by commenting down below in the comment section and yeah that's it for today's video thank you so much for watching if you guys are new here then please subscribe to my channel i make videos related to chemistry chemistry teaching and whatever opportunities are there in chemistry thank you so much for watching i will see you guys next time Bye bye